An historic sentence has just been announced by judges in The Hague that Charles Taylor, the former president and warlord of Sierra Leone, will serve 50 years in prison. He was found guilty of aiding and abetting rebels who murdered, raped and mutilated tens of thousands of people in, a, in an 11-year war that ended in 2002. He is the first head of state to be convicted by an international court since the Nazi war trials at Nuremberg in the Second World War. Outside the court, protesters and victims wave banners saying no hiding for war criminals. The presiding judge, Richard Lussick, then passed a sentence to which Charles Taylor listened intently. Uh, Mr Taylor, would you please rise for the sentence of the court? Mr Taylor, for the foregoing reasons, the trial chamber unanimously sentences you to a single term of imprisonment of 50 years for all of the counts on which you've been found guilty. Credit shall be given to you for the period commencing from 29th of March 2006, during which you were detained in custody pending this trial. Human rights groups were praising the sentence, which has come from a four-year trial. Ibrahim Souri, a Sierra Leone, said justice has now been done. This is not just my reaction, but the whole of uh, Sierra Leone and that of West Africa. The reaction is one of a clear way of accepting that indeed justice has arrived. The people of Sierra Leone have been waiting for this uh, day and indeed they have gotten it now. 50 years sentence to us is quite acceptable and it's just like a life sentence given his age. The special court for Sierra Leone ruled last month that Taylor aided and abetted revolutionary United Front rebels during an 11-year war which left 50,000 people dead in Liberia's West African neighbour by 2002. The rebels raped and murdered civilians, hacked off the limbs of thousands of people in a campaign of terror, while Taylor profited from trading in so-called blood diamonds that helped finance the conflict. I am Anne Salter, thanks for watching. For the latest news and updates throughout the day, follow me on our website at ibtimes.co.uk.